So we're Gym Class Heroes and this is our music video. Okay, so in your music video, you have taken a very popular song. How do you feel that your video that you've produced differs from the original song um, video? I think ours is more like a literal interpretation of like the, the lyrics and the word, like the, the song, the fight it, whereas this is more like coming out of like a slump find your way to the top and like success also more like uh, we, we did that ourselves like the, the fight would be seen as the fight to win as well and uh, obviously the little interpretation of the fighter as the big fight at the end of it. Um, Paddy do you want to talk to us a little bit about the type of fighting that you feature in the video? Um, we picked like uh, an MMA theme as it's a fast growing sport in America anyway but a lot of sort of fighting style music videos tend to focus on boxing or maybe wrestling, but there weren't really anything out on sort of like the mixed martial arts that we wanted to portray. And we felt that even though we didn't have a lot of music videos to get inspiration from, there's plenty of like recent films like Warrior or you know, like that, we, we were able to sort of lift from you so we knew we were hitting the right conventions. So you felt that you were developing this kind of form of a sort of sports-based music video? It wasn't, it wasn't really like a nostalgic look at it or a, we were paying like homage to it. It was more like continuing the trend. It, it's quite a popular sport. It's, it, it's really sort of what in like, today's culture. Um, from a narrative point of view, obviously quite a straightforward traditional narrative yeah, a boy finds himself in a difficult position, finds himself getting in, in a fight, then trains so that he's no longer in that position of being vulnerable anymore. Um, in that way, it's quite traditional. How do you feel then that your music video challenges conventions? What's different or new about it? I think, like Paddy said about the whole, there's no really any MMA music video, like we've done the conventions of fighting with all like, the clothes and things on set. Like the choreography, everything like that. Ours is more. We, but there's no really any UFC or like MMA based videos that we drew inspiration from. So I think that way we challenge the conventions of like ones by introducing new sports, introducing the cage as well. Usually just the ring, but I think the cage symbolises the sports and helps us make our new videos stand out really. I think another way that we challenge it as well. If you look at um, like a lot of music videos that were big to do with fighting, we gave this one more of a the story of both fighters, like the, the whole point of the fan performance was that the protagonist and the antagonist were both like everything was resolved with the band performance, which takes place after the whole fight. So, most music videos or films would feature sort of the hero and the villain, and then the hero comes out on top by the end of it. But the way we portrayed it is that they've both sort of hit high points, and that the like antagonist isn't so arrogant in his own, it is more of like. And then they just tend to get on by the end of it, so in that way it's a little challenge to them. So it's it's more to do with an idea of establishing teamwork yeah. than it is to do with establishing one upmanship. Yeah. Okay, um Chad, as a member of the target audience for that video, what did you think was appealing about the video? I think it has also like um gratification on it and stuff like MMA and the MC does have like I really like the scene where it's like it's the initial part of the fight where Adam's like getting quite a lot of punches in, but then Tom sort of scoops them up and throws them to the ground. I thought that was quite a good really well. So. so the the audience is enjoying the choreography of the fights. Was that difficult to do? Um, it was quite difficult. Um, we initially didn't really want to throw like two hard punches without hitting the other person. Okay, we had to keep that in mind that we wanted to make the fight look authentic, but without inflicting any injury upon each other. Uh, you did have a little bit of help in terms of choreographing the fights, didn't you, because of the person who was in the video? Yeah, the person who was in the video, um, he actually trains in the sports, and uh, he, he helped, you know, he helped show me the, the choke hold at the end that we can then uh, manage. We decided to use that rather than knock out, because I think the knock out's a bit too cliche, and uh, it would be harder hard to film to make it look more realistic. And we decided to use it as a um, 
Joe Cole, because the whole video is about you know, training and not being vulnerable anymore, and it's the idea of making your antagonist and your opponent like want to give up in the fight and want to like submit towards the person as they progress the victory. Um, Connor, do you think that that video would just appeal to you as a teenage male, or do you think maybe it's got appeal for other people as well? What's your opinion? Well, I think obviously the name Todd Wood would be teenage male as well. So I was like, never back down, like, and stuff like that. That is what a lot of lads our age are into. But anyone really into into any sport really would be fine with this music video. Maybe really just does well for you. The idea of the sport goes well with the music. Uh, do you want to talk to us about how your magazine advertisement and your digipack link in with the music video? Yeah. Um, the main part of like when we planning the digipack and the magazine advert is that we wanted it to stand out. Like if you when we looked at past examples from music videos from like last years, they were all sort of the same sort of story, like boy meets girl sort of thing. So we wanted something that had a bit more energy to it and was a bit sort of just, just different really, is that it? Like we said before, like the MMA thing really sort of uh, it's relatable to anyone in like boy school, so it was it was more we felt it was more gratifying to like our audience than like last year's sort of videos. So we wanted sort of like the the digi pack to reflect that. So we obviously went for the we took a still from like before we started filming, we took a few stills while we like rented the venue for the cage because we felt that it'd be better to take sort of the photos as photos rather than doing stills from the video. And um, we tend we edited it so we had the, the contrast with the red because we felt the red really stands out and it's got a strong connotation with energy and both, both energy and danger. So reflected the theme and the final aspect of the video. Uh, for the inside, we decided to use um, the make two characters. We decided to use stills. Uh, it's to play, but we decided to really make these actually appear as characters within the film, like people like. And to build to build the music video, like besides use the fighting theme, not only for the uh, digi pack and the video, because when you see like a boxing fight or like an anime fight, you build up like as a one big event, and we decided to use that, like make it seem like as a big event for the music video, and uh, to make these characters stand out for the audience to connect with them. Like for, the, for example, we thought this video would be quite like the audience would get gratification from it for the fact that at some point in their life people have always been like bullied by. So we'll bigger down and more physically more dominant than them. And it's the idea of like not becoming um, vulnerable anymore and overcoming that bully. So we thought if we put the two characters and build it as a big event, um, we'll get, you know, it'd be more more inclined to buy it because we treat it from a point of view as a buyer. But like that's why we chose the right. We thought will the stand out to us in the shop, will we actually see it? And then uh, would we buy it and we feel that we would we would actually buy it now. The priority with the, the actual video was to portray more of it was focused more on I emphasised the fighting element of it, so that's something we wanted to reflect with the digi pack. So, like especially when it comes like the magazine advert, we based that on like existing UFC photos, uh, uh, posters, um, where it has like the two fighters and then it has the venue and the date, and it, it's that sort of convention that we wanted to try. So, what technologies did you use when you were editing your magazine advert and your uh, digi pack? Mostly, it was uh, Photoshop and using any real tool because we always found that we tend to find if we used like on the back of it we've got uh, stills from the music video because we've got a still from the music video of the band performance and we've got like the band photo because even though our priority was the fight element we still had to show aspects of the band because it primarily it is a music video um, so for that we wanted that to really sort of stand out against because it, otherwise it just kind of faded into the red background and so we use the sharpen tool to like really bring out the like characters in it. But we used the blur tool around the edges so it did look like it was part of one image, it wasn't just slapped onto a background. For uh, in terms of the techniques that we use for photos, like especially for the uh, profiles, you know, there's a lot of layers in terms of brightness and contrast. We decided to make, increase the contrast just to make the image a bit more clear and more focused and more eye more eye catching and striking. Uh, like Patrick said about the um, 
shop and sort of that, that was used over here. We blend the edges to make it blend in more and just for it to seem harsh in the background, just to blend in gradually. And now the, uh, the main images of like the band more sharper in the background that shot. With yeah. the technology as well, I don't know if it like technology, but we didn't feel that any of the fonts within either Microsoft Word, PowerPoint, uh, Photoshop, none of them really like stood out to us like default ones for something that we want to use with the digipack, so we used the website, put that font up on, and had to download the fonts that we felt like matched the thing we were trying. So the gym class here is one we could have really made quite artistic to reflect the actual gym class here as well. Though. Both the fighting sort of element of it was kind of bold and stood out as like a more bold font to make sure. In chat, did you want to? Uh, yeah, I was going to say that you know, just open up for a call again. Yeah. Like, I, I thought the two, the two shots of the two fighters, like like that profile, even in like the middle paints of there, I can just sort of like imagine in my head like the sort of cage and the bum and stuff like would be in an actual fight. Yeah, so, yeah. so I thought that worked really well. That's what we, we saw like um, the UFC posters even before we nailed conventions really because the UFC posters always like a profile or a straight on image of the two main main events and before this this links with the idea of creating an event for the whole release of the uh, video part and the release of the video song. Okay, um, sorry, there's one. In the um, video where the um, you were really like it's so sort of amber or sepia tone. Yeah. Yeah, it looked um, kind of like um, the really old like 1930 like um, video, you know, where it's all flickering, yeah. And, yeah, and the fact that you use the Class Heroes font that looks more classic from like maybe the 40s or the 50s type of fonts, it makes it seem more authentic and more like sort of more street actually does, which has a better effect. Yeah, we decided to use that effect as well because we didn't just want to have like the plain image of the cage might have been wanted to separate that from the rest of it, like we used other effects for, like Street Fight thing in like a dreamlike state and used the um, the amber like tone and the sepia tone to make that stand out as the main event really. Because it was a bit bright at the final, we went put the effect button on the final fight scene, had a colour register and more colourful to show the shift in power between the protagonist and the antagonist. Like, what's the first the fight in the street? We used it for like uh, an effect, I don't know what it's called, that one, dream like or dream like or something like that. But it made everything seem really pale and like it had like a strong sort of like light blue to it. So it looked quite depressing or like cold, whereas the other, like the end fight scene, was more of it. Have you made any changes, or would you make any changes based on audience feedback? The audience feedback we got from like social network sites like Facebook and Twitter was mostly to do with um, like we are having more of a with street fights. We could have made more like it had to reflect our theme more. Because it was just a bit of a beat yeah. and stop. All of that was down to uh, complications yeah. with um, one of our actors who was killed for a couple of weeks. So we had to like find a replacement and try to, to the best of our ability, fill the role of a cage fighting opponent. But if we could do it again, then we'd probably give it that. We established that kind of more. Yeah, so that's the street fight. Well, I think that would definitely improve. Yeah, it would yeah, be less confusing, like, and then better really does create the narrative that we were aspiring to create. We had another bit of audience feedback that said that uh, it didn't improve, didn't seem the, uh, like we used the back performance in the gymnasium, which we felt matched the like, theme that we were going for. And it had quite, like, it's quite an old building anyway, so it matched the sort of like, the, like, yeah, the derelict sort of look and feel that we were going for the video. But we had the audience feedback saying they felt it was a bit cliched. Where we took the inspiration of, of it from the official music video because we didn't feel that we had other, even though we could have rented like that use, it if A cost us and B it wouldn't have tied into the video at all, whereas we feel the gymnasium reflected the sort of sporty feel.